Welcome back YouTube. I have a couple of quick updates. Nothing much has changed in the tank. I've got a new fish. It's a yellow-eyed coal tank that you see swimming in the front here. And uh, corals are looking good. Uh, I lost one frag that was uh, on the shelf right here. It was a strawberry shortcake. I was uh, away for the weekend and I came back and it was bone white at RTN literally overnight. So uh, what I really wanted to do this uh, update is to tell you about how my nitrate dosing experiment has been going on. So over the last month, I've been dosing potassium nitrate because my nitrates uh, had dropped to zero uh, around uh, uh, month 11 and 12 and that led to uh, a reduction in the color of my SPS. So uh, if, if I could take you through a kind of a quick history of my tank, the first four or five months I had undetectable nitrates, undetectable phosphates, the tank was too clean and all of my SPS frags uh, looked pretty pale. They were growing but they just didn't look as nice as, uh, as uh, they looked like when I added them to the tank. So uh, I tried to dirty up the water a little bit, I increased the fish load, I stopped doing water changes and that increased nitrates and uh, with the increase in nitrates the corals the SPS specifically started to look good but too much of a good thing is good uh, is bad so uh, my nitrates climbed and climbed and climbed and then they uh, went above 10 parts per uh, million and when they went above 10 the corals started looking bad again they uh, browned out very quickly so I got a new, uh, I got a new skimmer. I uh, put my fuse online. I got Ciparax, and that helped me kind of maintain intermediate levels around five. And again, five parts per billion, and the corals look great again. Uh, but then, around uh, month 10, 11, 12, my nitrate started uh, decreasing uh, again, all the way to zero. And with the decrease in nitrates, my corals started to kind of uh, fade a little bit and, and pale out. I mean, they, they didn't, uh, they still were growing, but they didn't look as good as uh, they did when the nitrates were a little bit high. So uh, I did this experiment where I kept everything constant for as much as I can. So uh, I'm feeding the same, the lights are in the same intensity. Uh, I haven't been doing water changes. Uh, the only thing that has changed is that I've been dosing potassium nitrate. Uh, it's this pure product that I got from a chemical company. Uh, and I, ease, I eased into the dosing. So first I would dose uh, one mil. Uh, the concentration that I made is uh, 0.1 grams per uh, milliliter. And I would dose uh, one mil of that a day. And then I would dose two. And then I slowly brought up my nitrates from undetectable to uh, one part per million, to two, to three, to four, to five. Actually, uh, last week it hit, last week and it hit five. And then I stopped dosing that product. And I've been taking pictures of my SPS, every single one of them from the top. Uh, and uh, over uh, uh, every week since I've been dosing. So the pictures that I'm gonna show you of the SPS before and after nitrate dosing were all taken with my iPhone from the top of the tank. Uh, Obviously, they're not the greatest pictures, and, and sometimes the exposure settings on, uh, on the iPhone seem a bit random, but I think uh, uh, the pictures will be helpful in helping you decide whether the nitrate has an effect, uh, the nitrate dosing has an effect or not. Okay, so here is the blueberry wine acro. I don't think this changed at all from the nitrate dosing. It looks about the same. The bonsai, I also think it looks about the same. No big changes. The bird of paradise, I think it got better. Uh, the green is a little bit more intense and the polyps look noticeably purple. The Cali tort, I think, improved with the dosing. It's more blue. The cold, uh, cold water acro, I think, improved as well. You see a little bit more fluorescent green in the tissue. The Montipora mystique, uh, I don't think that changed at all from the nitrate dosing. The Mr. Pac-Man frag definitely got a little bit darker. It's got a, a richer purple. 
the orange passion really improved. We're seeing popping blues, oranges, and green. The pink Cadillac, I think, looks about the same. No, no big changes here. The pink lemonade definitely improved. It's got more pink and uh, more green fluorescent fluorescence. The pink milli didn't really change at all. Uh, it looks a little bit darker in the old picture, but that's because the new picture is overexposed. Red planet definitely improved. Uh, more red, more green, more intense coloration. The shockaholic frag didn't really change that much. Looks about the same. The green slimer definitely got a bit glee, uh, greener, uh, so the green is more vibrant with the nitrate dosing. The strawberry shortcake, that's a frag that unfortunately died. I don't think it was from the dosing, but uh, it did die during this experiment. The Acropora tenuous looks about the same, no, no big changes. The mystery tort is looking fabulous. Uh, I don't think the nitrate dosing has helped because uh, it has been looking great. The blue voodoo, I think, increased in coloration a little bit. The blues are just a little bit popping and, and the polyps look more green and it just looks more pleasing. So there you have it. Uh, most of, uh, no, about half of the frags that I've uh, tracked have improved. And uh, the frags that didn't improve looked about the same. So I, I don't think I've seen any negative effects of nitrate dosing. Uh, uh, but I've definitely seen improvement in the color of uh, some of uh, my frags. Uh, I, would, I should mention that in the middle of the experiment, I had some issues with some uh, green, hair, green hair algae. So at the onset of nitrate dosing, I did see more green hair algae in the tank. Uh, but I've managed to keep it under control uh, by adding a few more snails and and uh, and uh, uh, the running chato in my uh, in my refugium. Uh, so it, it definitely wasn't like a big explosion of green hair algae. But I did notice that in a few patches where I did initially have green hair algae, that I was getting uh, uh, more vigorous growth in these areas. One thing that I should mention is I think that the nitrate dosing has maybe reduced the rate of growth of my corals. So they're still growing, but I seem to remember them really growing. Uh, I seem to remember them go growing faster when nitrates were close to undetectable. So there, there may be, there, there may be kind of a trade off here between growth rates versus coloration. Uh, the corals are still growing with the high nitrates. It's just that when the nitrates were zero, I, I did notice that they were growing, uh, they seem to be growing faster. Uh, so uh, uh, if you want to repeat this experiment, obviously, you know, your tank is going to be different from mine and, and the nutrient balance will be different and your bacterial population will be different. My advice would be to uh, take it slow. Uh, don't raise your nitrates uh, uh, you know, by a, a very large amount uh, in a very short period of time, it's best to ease into it because uh, you could obviously overdose. Uh, so I would uh, suggest you slowly, slowly, slowly bring the levels up over uh, several weeks or a month. And uh, it's a good idea to take some pictures and document before and after so that way you could uh, objectively determine whether dosing nitrates has helped your system. Okay, thank you so much for following and uh, see you next month.